Mobile Monday, or MOMO, is a non-profit organization who hosts an event once a month where tech-savvy people get together, mingle, and discuss the latest technology trends. This month's event took a look at the theme Augmented Reality. Augmented Reality, or AR, is a view of real and physical image with some of its elements modified by computer-generated effects, resulting in an enhanced perception of the real-time image. Augmented Reality, I believe, brings a lot of promise for brands. Um, companies wanting to show off their brands, it basically gives you a platform and a technology to promote um, enriched 3D objects. So taking a very flat or dull um, object and presenting it in a very animated way. So there's, tonight we had uh, developers, very technical people, as well as uh, some non-technical people, like the guys from the agencies looking at this technology and how they can utilize it in their marketing campaigns in the future. Momo partnered with Qualcomm, the world leader in next generation mobile technologies, who sponsored the event. We're a technology company. We spend over $2 billion a year on R&D and uh, our interests are obviously to accept, ac accelerate 3G through the use of Qualcomm technologies and Qualcomm chipsets. Now that extends a little bit further in terms of uh, um, applications like Euphoria. And for us we see it as an opportunity to talk to the industry about Qualcomm, about the Snapdragon chipset family and about Euphoria and about the opportunities that that brings to the industry. Euphoria is a software development kit or SDK, which Qualcomm offers to developers for free. A great platform for augmented reality developers to use to develop the AR apps. The idea of creating a, an SDK, which allows a developer without having to write code, to take the SDK from Qualcomm for free if they register on the website, and then go off and, and create uh, augmented reality applications. Um, the SDK is called Euphoria. Provides them a, a great opportunity to create local African applications for Africa, be it South African applications. And I think th this evening you'll see a, a couple of examples. I mean, imagine you go into a restaurant and uh, you want to see what's on the menu or on the specials, probably more on the menu. You could just use your smartphone if you had an application developed with a restaurant and you'd see the dishes come up in front of you. Or if you were going to buy a car and you saw an ad in the newspaper, you could hold your phone over the ad using the camera provided there was a, a V4 application and you could have a look at the car, change the color, look inside it, look around it. So that 3D experience is something quite special. Cape Town based company Sea Monster Entertainment, who deals with animated series and gaming, shared some of the work they are doing in regards to augmented reality to the Momo crowd. So what we've done now is we have, for a demo, we've made our business card, which has a Sea Monster logo on it. We've made a little game out of it, so there's a Sea Monster and a cannon, they're fighting together. Um, we also did a thing for Shuttleworth. We, we're trying to get kids excited about science and math. So we have a little character, a penguin, that you can, he can ask you questions and you can give him answers by feeding him fish. A few of the things that we've done is to work with maybe products, uh, as far as marketing is concerned. We'll use the, a, a box of a product or we'll put it on a, a magazine and have the cover come to life when you point your phone at it. Um, so maybe to show off some sort of a product inside of it. The AR technology brings endless opportunities with it, something the advertising industry will no doubt take full advantage of soon. Ad agencies are very excited because the amount of, uh, of stimulus and exposure you, you can give to a, a, a person with augmented reality is far greater than a 2D photograph and ad, which they may not even read. I mean, here you can have a moving picture, people talking, giving you different types of information, even answering questions. So it suddenly it just gives a whole new lease of life to a 3G device. James Munn says Africa hasn't quite taken to the technology yet, but it's still early days and that the future for augmented reality in Africa is bright. I think our only limitation is our imagination. Um, I think it's going to be very exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing applications coming through for education. Uh, I think education is, when you have three-dimensional education, I think the learning capability and capacity potential is so much better. I think for advertising there's a great opportunity, for gaming there's a great opportunity. Um, so I think the future is, is very, very bright. 
I've seen a lot of it overseas. In South Africa, we haven't found many of them, um, but I'm excited to meet up with more people, like the event we are now. Um, so we'll see what else comes out of it. We're glad to be spearing the, the leading the way. This Momo event was the most well-attended event they've hosted in Johannesburg so far. Well, at this stage, we, we, we get impressed for um, our, our capacity our, our, at your venue. So we hope we continue to grow, um, both locally in Johannesburg as well as in, in the other regions, um, KZN, Cape Town. But um, hopefully some more exciting new technology from the likes of Qualcomm, other, other technology partners um, coming on board and sponsoring.